It seems like half the world's on fire, the other half is drowning. And happiness is hard to feel when all the world is frowning. Children suffer, parents cry, and lives are torn asunder. It sometimes feels there's no relief from all the weight we're under. Bullets fly and airplanes crash, and nation battles nation. We're all searching for some way to help the situation. And what if I told you I'd found a way to fix disaster? A simple trick to mend all ills that anyone can master. Please listen as we offer up a cure with no compunction. Our remedy involves just two words and one conjunction. Thoughts and prayers. Just offer a thoughts and prayers. The perfect way to fix a mess with guaranteed success. And best of all, this effort is 100% effortless. Thoughts and prayers. Just offer a thoughts and prayers. The first and only response from you for crises old and new. It's heartfelt and it's humble. And it's the least that you can do, literally. Thoughts and prayers. The perfect way to put on airs. You can announce to all without discretion this glib expression and offer up the one phrase no one ever seems to question. Thoughts and prayers, like rearranging the Titanic's deck chairs, checking the pressure of the Hindenburg's air, buying soup for Linda Blair. So what it doesn't solve a thing, it shows you care, you really care. Anyone can use these words, they are the best we've got. They can solve your problems if by solve you mean you squat. But they make you feel good and it's a universal animus. Who cares if they do any good? You get to feel magnanimous. Oh, thoughts and prayers. Like some cheap linguistic laissez-faire. Perfect pronouncements for a public display. It's just the thing to say. And by doing this you just imply you hope the problem goes away. Thoughts and prayers. Often from billionaires It's a kind of sacrifice, you see Why can't we all agree? I've said three words, is that not enough? Just how much do you want from me? A thought and a prayer From politician or charge to fair Instead of passing some legislation or a regulation So what if you're elected? Why should you cut short your own vacation? A prayer and a thought It's like a badge of honor you just bought you're cashing in on all the lives that were lost, the hopes and dreams that were tossed. I think you are confusing priceless with no cost. And yet, sometimes someone grabs a box and fills it with some stuff. Or volunteers or lends a hand or does a job that's tough. You're doing God's work, they say, but somehow misconstrue it. Of course, we have to do God's work. It's not like God will do it. Oh, thoughts and prayers. I've had enough of your thoughts and prayers. My intention is not to displease, but I am ill at ease with how all your investments stop right after all your sympathies, thoughts and prayers. I'm distraught with this entire affair. And even though your moral sense may be stinking, here's a thought I'm thinking. I pray you're never gonna have to deal with any trauma, but if you do, I'll be sending out my thoughts and prayers to you, you, you. Then you'll see how much good it will do. Matthew Astin!